baby. What's up, y'all? Excuse the mess. Right now, we're gonna do a bark box review. It's not so much a review as it is an uh, unboxing, and it's not as much an unboxing as it is a taste test. Because this is uh, my Free, uh, heavy duty, super chew, whatever the fuck it is. Basically, I I have two subscriptions, okay, for monthly bark boxes of um, well, see the way that it works is you can choose uh, month by month commitments subscriptions. Or you can choose six month, or you can choose twelve month. Okay, so I have currently I have two twelve month commitments, but uh, you know just due to financial reasons, I was hoping to cancel one of these commitments. And normally, these subscription boxes, these these tour, these types of subscription services, don't like for you to cancel it. In, in the middle, you know, midway, because the price that I'm receiving it at, which is $21 per box, is only due to my 12 month commitment. So if I say, you know, I receive six boxes and then I want to cancel that commitment, uh, I only pay $21 for each of these six boxes, whereas if I had originally selected the six month commitment, uh, I would have been locked in at the price of $23 and thus I am stealing $12 or something, right? $12, great, whatever, the fuck, right? So they, they really don't care, but it's just like any other service. They don't want to lose the customer. So they say, hey, you know, we'll uh, give you something free uh, if you want to try it and, uh, you know, just think about it for another a month, you know, another week, whatever it is. Just give us some time, think about it if you really want to quit or not. And uh, I, I honestly was trying to cancel my commitment because, you know, just because of budget. But then I explained to them that, hey, you know, I, I do have a lot of dogs and there isn't really... Bella, I'm smoking, please. Okay, it's dirty. I mean, it's okay. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, like, it, there really is no reason for me to cancel a commitment. Like, whether it is costly or not, you know, it's absolutely affordable and it's something that I should be buying because I do have these three large breed dogs. So, anyways. Heavy duty, super chew. Okay, this is Bark Box. I just received it. Um, uh, I have no idea. Just a, a couple of days ago, okay. I'm hoping that this is not, or this was not sent in lieu of my April box. Because in here, there is one heavy-duty toy, which is, yeah, this is fucking heavy-duty. I mean, this is like a, a five-pounder. It says, the unsquashable pumpkin. And, and I think in the very beginning, when they first started, it, it wasn't all um, in-house brand toys or treats. But now they are. Now... I think most of the things that they send are stuff that they produce themselves. Okay, so it says uh, Bark Shop, the unsquashable pumpkin. Uh, there's a caution sign not for children, only for dogs. Uh, supervised play only. Okay, so distributed by Bark Box Inc. and uh, designed in New York City, made in China. Barkshop.com. Bark.
Well, they even locked the tag on Super Duty with, with two of these, two of the plastic, you know, these, whatever the fuck you call this, yeah, two of these, yeah, wow, great, cool. Anyways, Super Fucking Duty, this is like, pretty rough, like, like, uh, I met an unruly driver today when I went to the Tutti Fruity Kung Fu Tea joint location. I was driving through the ticket gate. And this young guy, you know, he couldn't be older than me, couldn't be much younger. I mean, if he's my age, then shame on him. He's got a lot of maturing to go to, go through, to do. Um, it was this young guy driving a C300 Mercedes Coupe, you know, bottom of the line model, basically uh, trash car. Popular brand, thinks he's all the, whatever the fuck. You know, if if my license wasn't suspended right now, I would beat the shit out of him. But, lucky. Didn't catch a charge today. I laughed it off. You know, I drive a fucking M5. Dumb kids ain't got shit on me. So... My point is, this is something you could beat someone with. This is heavy duty as fuck, man. This is like, wow, holy shit. Like, you gotta be careful with this. Dogs running around holding it and swinging it. Oh, you could fucking break somebody's leg. Alright? Hands up, come here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come here. Show daddy. Sit down. Come on, baby, sit. No, you sit. You want the toy? You sit down. Nigga, how many times I gotta ask you? Sit the fuck down. Good boy. You know that. You know daddy's mean. Come on. Show me. Come on. Uh, show me. Come here. Up, up, up. Get it. Get it. It's a toy, baby. I know it's so tough. I know it doesn't feel like a toy. It's not plush. But it's a toy. It's for chewy. Actually, Bella's the super chewer in the house. Gizzer, um, Gizzer doesn't really have great genes. He's a Tibetan Mastiff, but the, the people that bred him... Uh, we're doing it solely for money, so yeah, it's it's kind of sad. He he does have uh, some uh, bone structural problems, and uh, his teeth aren't the best. But here we are. Handsome's the young one, so I always try everything with him, and he's the most curious. Come on, come here, come here, baby, come on. Up, up for daddy. Come on, get it, get it, get it. It's a toy, baby. Come on, come up, up, get it, get it. You gotta bite it. Okay, here, come on. How about you hold it for me? Sit down. Sit down, baby. Good boy, okay. You hold it for daddy. Hold it. Ah, hold it. Good boy. Good. No, 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 it's heavy. I know, okay. Stay. Hold. 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 I know it's heavy. You hold. Oh my god, he almost dropped it. It's like a, it's like a jack-o'-lantern almost when, when they're holding it. It's like a little kid going trick-or-treating. It's really fucking cute. And it's April. I don't know... I, I guess this is like one of their leftover ones from uh, the Halloween theme boxes, but it is a heavy duty toy, so it, you know, it all works out. Sit down, baby. Sit down and hold it for daddy. Sit. Good boy. Okay. Hold it. Come on, baby. Hold it. Hold. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. Hold. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so heavy. Okay. So he held it for a couple seconds, and then he said, fuck it. All right. So you move. Move. Next. Next. Kids are going. Didi. Oh, he's downstairs. Gizzer! Popea! Come on, shall I? Didi! Lie, lie, lie. Let's see if I can get him to come up here. He's usually lounging down here. Baby, huh? You can pop away. How quiet, huh? Say, say, say. Say, say. How quiet. How la, la, la. Didi, say, say. How say, say. How quiet. How quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet. He's just the big lazy. Say, say, say. Go away. Go away. How quiet. Alright. 
So in the box we got the heavy duty jack lantern chewing toy and we have this made in USA 98% of dogs agree the other 2% are dirty liars oh yeah turkey jerky recipe dog snacks with bacon flavor so is it bacon is it turkey what is it huh oh okay so it's turkey bacon jerky <laughs> I made with real turkey and sweet potato, wheat free, coin free, soy free, grain free. From the makers of BarkBox, so this is another one of their in-house uh, toys, snacks, treats. It says 85% real turkey. So what's the other 15%? Huh? Let's set the camera down and uh, read it off to y'all. It says. We're experts at making treats. Dogs love. Yeah, even the cat loves it. She knows that I'm holding the tree, and and she came right to me. So let's see. Why best ever? Eureka! The best treat ever. Okay. It says fifty k cow per treat. What is k cow? Calorie content k cow per kg. I think, oh, okay, cow is, is 50 calorie, okay, cow, I, I don't know, I thought it was something to do with weight, by weight, but, whatever the fuck, it says, why the best ever, after years of research and recipe rejiggering, our lab found the exact right bite, we cooked USA sourced savory ingredients to lip licking perfection. Creating jaw-dropping treats that all of dog kind love. Okay, it says the Labrador Cheerer. This name is Gordo. Huh? No idea. Oodles of curated treats shipped every month. Millions of tastes and textures munched by our pup stomachers. Tons of reviews from pups and their people. Message Dogo at Bark. On Facebook and we'll bark back we'll bark back with something only dog people will get ah that's pretty cool yeah inside joke just give us a yip text or call 844-203 bark 2275 toll-free so this is uh, you know again designed in New York and these treats are made in USA it seems like uh, a lot of bark boxes, uh, treats are made in USA for whatever fucking reason. I don't know why they would waste uh, the production cost of getting shit made in USA. I'm sure it, it might save a little on, on shipping, you know, on ease of access, but honest, I don't know. Maybe uh, it's having to do with um, their supply of ingredients if they were to manufacture it somewhere else, you know, for example, China. So, everybody, we take a sniff first, right? Sniff. Everybody sniff, 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 Bella sniff, sniff, sniff. What does it smell like? It smells like turkey, it smells like bacon, turkey, bacon, jerky. Sniff, sniff. Oh, okay, he gets the idea. He always sniffs good for me. Sniff, 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 sniff. Oh, okay, stop drooling on me. Oh my god. Sniff, sniff, handsome sniff. No, you didn't sniff, baby. You didn't sniff. You don't sniff. You don't get a treat. Sniff, baby, sniff. Oh, you see that? Mamie really wants it. She smells that. Oh, hey. Don't do that. Handsome sniff. Smells good? Turkey bacon treats. Alright, okay. We're gonna break off a little piece from Mamie. Alright? See what the cat says. I mean, we know it's good. Alright? And then a little piece for Bella, a little piece for Gizzer, and a little piece for Anton. Alright. The consensus is that it's fucking great. It doesn't matter what the treat is, most of the time it's... it's oh my gosh, baby, be careful. That was a small piece, baby, how are you choking? So the taste test... Okay, now I'm gonna let them sniff the bag. 
Sniff, sniff, baby, sniff. Smells good. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, Enzo, come here. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Smells good. Smells good. Mimi? Smells good. Oh, she's trying to steal. Oh, shit, look at that. Alright, you know what? You can take the whole thing and go it. Go it. Yeah. Alright. You got lucky, eh? Um. I actually, I really like the the size of this this treat bag, this snack. Uh, because compared to all the other snacks that we've seen before, this is like really plentiful. But I'm a bit worried that if if I am to start receiving the the heavy duty, the super chewer specified box monthly that we will only re be receiving one heavy duty toy and one pack of treats which doesn't seem you know as as nice considering it's a, a subscription box that introduces us and exposes us to a variety of different toys and treats and chews because uh, normally in each box we receive two plush toys uh, two packs of snacks and one chew. So if I were to trade all of that, you know, for just a, a pack of snack and one toy, it's it's not very fair. I have three dogs, so I, I have four, but I have three large breeds in this house with me, so it wouldn't be very fucking fair, right? Wouldn't make sense. And if you know, handsome never gets around, or Bella never gets around to really playing with this toy because this is really heavy. You know, this is like a five pound toy, like. It's 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 kind of dangerous, <laughs> and, and as the tag says, do not let them play with this toy unsupervised because it is so dangerous. It's it's really really heavy. You know, if Handsome swings us around and he God forbid hits Bella in the head with it or hits Gizzard in the or fucking if he hits Mei Mei in the head with it, oh my God, he would knock her out. So everybody, let's try the treat one more time, okay? I mean, we know the treats are good. But what I want to do is, I want them to try out the toy for me in exchange for a treat as a reward. So, let's count the strips. 1, 2, 3. So, it's just about 25. Okay, just about 25 strips of these uh, turkey bacon jerkies. And it's not really even uh, jerky. Not like not like human jerky jerkies, you know, these are, it's pretty soft, you know, it bends, uh, it doesn't snap, you know, it, it, it breaks nice and clean, kind of like a, like a paparoo stick, you know, the, uh, a pepperoni, you know, the pepperoni, yeah, so it's, it's kind of just like that, it's pretty meaty. Alright. Now, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to get them to actually hold and try or, or bite and, and play with this, this heavy ass toy. Holy crap. <laughs> it's really heavy. And it's really durable.